At some point, I don't remember when, I, I got the idea for this nervous character, and I wrote a monologue. And uh, a friend of mine knew the owner of a club in Manhattan. It was a she-she nightclub, anyway. And, uh, and I went over there and, and auditioned this nervous guy for the owner of this club. And he thought it was the most boring thing I think he had ever seen. <laughs> so I put that away. I thought, well, I guess that's no good. And then when I got on Broadway in a play called No Time for Sergeants, <clears throat> got to know the cast pretty well. So one night I thought, I'll try that out on these guys. So I tried it out on them, and they fell down laughing. So I decided to audition around some more, and I <clears throat> took it to the Gary Moore people. Gary Moore had a daytime show then. And uh, they said they liked it, and they had sent me over to see Gary himself, and he, he liked it, and he put me right on his show. And then I, and it was a hit. The audience liked it. So then I did The Tonight Show. Uh, Steve Allen was doing that. I don't think it was called The Tonight Show then, as I recall, but, but it was The Tonight Show. It was, you know, the same time, same, they just hadn't called it that yet. But he was, Steve was the, uh, he was the Johnny Carson at that time. And uh, so I did it there, and, uh, and it was a hit there. So Bill Dana was the one who auditioned me and put me on. And, uh, and they said, well, you know, if you write another one, bring it around, put you on again. So I did. I wrote another one and came back. And eventually they put me on, uh, Steve said, okay, and they put me on Steve's big Sunday night show. He had a big variety show once a week. It came out partly out of a dream, although I, I, had, seen, I had seen a guy trying to make a speech and he was doing all this real nervous. I, it struck me funny. <clears throat> and then I dreamed a part of a monologue, actually. And I woke up and sat down and wrote the rest of it. That's that's how it's how I came by it.